Are you using the other screen or not? No. No. That can go. Okay, seating is obviously a very high commodity here. There's a few more seats over here. Um, we're trying to pull in chairs from all over the place. We usually don't have a seating problem to this magnitude. If you haven't had your waiver signed for your child or your guardian hasn't signed it, get a hold of me because we've got to make this happen before you get your check. If you've done it, you have it, you haven't turned it in, just put up your hand, I'll come grab it, and we're good to go. Alrighty. Well, good morning slash afternoon. This is quieter than any classroom I presented to in Norfolk County. All right, let's try it again. Good morning. morning. For all the students that are here, you remember me talking about the program and saying this is the best part of my job because of what council and my management allow me to do. And I get to give free money to students grades 6 to 12. All right? This is an awesome county to work in. I'll let you in on a little bit of secret if you didn't know the history on it. Last year was the first pilot year we did this. And council said run with it because we want to value our youth. We want our youth to A, stay in Norfolk or train and come back to Norfolk, run their businesses because we're growing and we want to keep growing. So that's amazing in itself. Last year, out of all the schools, I was not allowed into two, which they said, you'll be lucky if you get into one, okay? This year, all schools in Norfolk County were covered, and in fact, we had an invitation to come to Haldeman schools where Norfolk students go in Jarvis and do presentations there as well, and they came on and helped out as well. The list that used to be there was about this big last year. We gave about $10,000 away last year, give or take. We funded 40 businesses and we had 87 applicants, okay? Which was a really cool thing for Norfolk County because that also entered us into a category in economic development, Ontario, into a category called public-private partnership. That's when government, business, and the community get together to do a project. We won that category, by the way, beating out Toronto, Ottawa, London, Kitchener, you name it, we kicked butt. We came in second with that same program. Remember, this is, just this, this is for six to 12 students for the Governor General's Award. So everybody was talking about how successful this is. Why do you contribute to the youth? How are you going to make it bigger? How are you going to make it better? What are you going to do? And even we didn't know. So guess what? If it's not broke, don't fix it. And I've been working with the program for a while. The only thing we tweaked was a couple of little pieces on the application form. And to give you kind of if I can find my note, there we go. I'll give you the numbers for this year. Remember, last year, 87 applicants. This year, 188. Last year, we gave 40 awards away. We helped 52 kids. This year, we're giving away 94 awards, thanks to the sponsors and the county. And we have an extra 13 kids that are getting helped. 
bringing our total this year to 107 students that are going to get money to start their business in Norfolk County, keeping the money in Norfolk County, and making a stronger region and county. So, to the sponsors. Now, I wish that we could have funded all of the good applications that we received. And we picked the cream of the crop. Remember, 188? I can tell you that there's 21 on my desk that we reviewed at least five or six different times, but we just didn't have enough money to cover them off. So if you really believe in this, and obviously you do or you wouldn't be here with your kids supporting it, that's something to talk to local businesses about when we're really looking at giving back to our youth. Because youth get a bad rap, right? And don't kid yourself, I can see smirks in the audience. Some of you have been in the principal's office like me, okay? And that's what we look for is creativity, the entrepreneurship in everybody. And I'd like to turn it over to the mayor to go over a couple of things from council, and then we'll hand out some checks. Thank you very much, Jerry. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our council chamber. It's good to see such a big audience here today. Uh, Councillor John Wells is uh, here. John, thank you for coming up this morning from Port Dover uh, to be part of this experience. This is really and truly uh, a highlight, uh, one of the highlights of uh, the job that I have as mayor of Norfolk, uh, to be here uh, with young entrepreneurs in our county. A couple of things. First of all, you're well aware this is the, uh, I'll call it an invention of our economic development department last year. And certainly council was very quick to, to uh, give their endorsement to this project. Uh, I think it's fair to say we exceeded our expectations last year and look at where we are in year two. So I want to, on behalf of Councilor Wells and myself, say to our young entrepreneurs, uh, have some fun with this, enjoy it. What you put into something usually is what you get out of it. Um, you know, I haven't learned uh, too much from any success I've had in life, but boy, have I learned a lot from my mistakes. You just talk to my wife, and I tell you, I've learned a lot from my mistakes. And uh, so, you know, don't be afraid to take a risk. So I do want to thank the economic development uh, for the hours and hours of work they put in. Uh, this is very special when we can engage young folks in a meaningful way in the community. Uh, we're open for other ideas. Please let us know. And I want to finish by just saying, why are all, we, uh, why are all of us gathered here today? I can tell you, without the generosity of our businesses, and in particular our small business, is in Norfolk County who generously open up their checkbooks and uh, believe in what we're doing here. Without them, we wouldn't be here this morning, so I really tip my hat to them. Anyhow, again, welcome, and I'll get on with the show here. Thank you. So just a little bit of background, uh, once again, is that uh, our sponsors definitely stepped up. We have all of the sponsors from last year, same ones again this year. The oldest business I think that we have that is part of the program is in excess of 30 years, and the youngest business we have is in excess of 30 days. All right, so with that in mind, large and small companies, we thank them all as the merit and identified. When I call your name, I may get it wrong, but Sakarena is my last name, and I guarantee you, not all of you are going to get it right. All right? And when I call your name, if it's a partnership, we only put one name on the check. But if your partners are in the room, come on up. We'll take a snapshot of it, and we'll get you to come out. Please do not take off as soon as you get your money and run, because we like to do a great big shot outside, and the paper picks it up, other press lines pick it up, we tweet it out, and we show other counties how they should be doing things with the youth. All right? So that's kind of how we roll. All right? So with further ado, Jason Albanese. Okay? 
not here. And I will tell you that some of the students that aren't here, they, they came in or they phoned in a little bit late and said, hey, listen, I can't make it. I'm on family vacation, so we are trying to accommodate. And we did phone a couple of students that said, I'm totally booked that day for business. I can't come. So we understand. Lee Anderson. You want us like this? Maya Anderson. We just might want to wait till we're done because we've got like 90 some students and we'll clap all at once. Okay. Addison Bardock. Alana Bridges, and as they're walking up, maybe I'll uh, get them to tell you what their business is because I've been forgetting. So your business is? It's called Leila's Home Decor. Okay. Okay. One more. Okay. Dylan Butler. Tell them what your business is. Um, my business is called The Fly Butler, and I make flies for fishing. Congratulations. Colton Butler. One thing I will tell you too is I've always encouraged the kids to come up with new ideas and um, that's part of the process to wow us, right? And this year's students definitely did. Ethan Kennedy? No? Aiden Carr? And your business is? Pet care. Come again? Pet care. Cameron Church. Tell them what your business is. Web designing or coding. Carche John Cox. And Pablo. Destacano is next, FYI. I butchered it, I'm sorry. And your business is? Um, I'm making dog treats. Pablo? No. All right, Jesse Dubley, and then it'll be Jenna, Jenna De Bruin. Tell them what you're doing. Pet rocks. You laugh, but it made millions before. Why not again? Jenna De Bruin. And then Luke DeMartier. Archie? Harder? Sure. I'll go with that. What are you doing? Veggie stand. Okay. And then Joe DeLine will be next after this. So 
Enchanted Forest Natural Soap Company. Okay. Do we have Joe? No? All right. Andrew Dowdy. And then Ty Earl. You're Andrew? Ty Earl. Oh. You're Andrew or Ty? Ty. You're Ty? Yeah. All right. Tell them what you're doing. Breeding fish. Reese Eberly, and then Michael Ecker. Reese. Tell them what you're doing. Huh? You got to tell them what you're doing, man. Cutting grass. Tell them what you're doing. Bird houses and keychains. Emily Eckert, and then Taylor Ellis. Child care and tutoring. Taylor Ellis. Okay. Talon or Talon Flower Day. Bailey Forgus. Kaya uh, F O U C A U L T. I'm not even going to try. Hey, if you've seen my name, you wouldn't try either. French tutoring. Keith Froze. No. Karen Gubish. Deja vu. I saw ice. Nick Haywood. And then it'll be Will Holiday Holloway. I make art with my welder. I do woodworking. Graydon Hosek. And then Carson Kitchler. Or Kitchen, sorry. Either gentleman in the house? No? Okay. Connor. K O S K E L A. No. Kira Labonde. Or Kyra. No. This is getting easier and easier. Romeo Labine. Okay. And next is John Lalonde. Selling dew worms for fishing. Carpentry. Adler Lewer and Shane Leslie. Custom computer building. Mosaic art. CJ Letman and Nadia Lynch will be the next two. Missing a couple. All right. Oh, oh, we got one coming. I'm guessing you're Nadia. You're not the other. Let's get this too. 
That's okay. It's not a problem. Okay. Yo, you got to tell them what you're doing. Cosmetics. Cosmetics. Tate McLeod and Kayla McDonald are the next two coming up. Couldn't hear me? Okay. I thought I was in trouble. And you're obviously Kayla. Yeah. Okay. Tell them what you're doing. Um, beach glass, art, and jewelry. And Tate McLeod was not here. All right. Uh, Jack Marara and Kaylin Martin. Once, twice, gone. Hayden Mitt Mattis and Gwen McFarlane. And if I'm pronouncing them wrong, correct me. Okay. Owen McGaffrey or McGahey and Hayden Miller Clucky. Owen? Raising chickens and selling fresh brown eggs. <laughs> There's one in every class, too, believe me. Hang on, let's do this. Get over. Thank you. That's, go that's going on Instagram. Awesome. All right, stand here. Let's get a good one. What's your business? Planting for kids. Really cool project. Okay, Jason Pelko. Or, sorry, Jacob Pelko. And then Andrew Payton, or Patton. Jacob or Andrew? You're Andrew. Yep. <clears throat> My business is where I grow plants and trees and sell them. Okay. Jade and Riley. Jade Pelkey and Riley Versher. No? Okay. Eric Pickering and Evan Pond are the next two. This went a whole lot quicker when there was 40. Babysitting. Evan Pond? No? Oh, okay. Well, I gave you the wrong one. You want to say it? You want the right one? Just saying, caching purposes is going to be a son of a gun. All right, Brand Proper and Sarah Rosenberg. Which one are you? Brand. I'm making terracotta lighthouses, turtles, and mushrooms. Sarah? No? All right. Joshua Redekop and Evan Reed are the next two. Thank you. No worries. Congrats. <laughs> hey, tell them what you're doing. Oh. I'm selling snacks and uh, drinks at local parks. Olivia Bastoul. I did okay. I came close. Oh, wow. That doesn't happen very often. It's a craft shop called Jinx. Maxwell Robson and Zach Roberts.
Are you Max or Zach? A clothing company. That's good. Man. Congrats. Leanne Robinson and Alana Rusnick are the next two. I sell sweet corn at the side of the road. Alana? No? Last bunch. I feel like what uh, the mail carriers feel like. Olivia Sampio? Now that was a partnership, I remember it. Baking cupcakes. Do you need them back, Mom, for another shot? Yeah. All right, come on back. Oh, don't do this because we'll even get the check right away. There we go. George Santos and Myla Selway. Babysitting. Taylor Sure George and Dorian Smith. I probably said it wrong. Is this you? There you go. Thanks for correcting me. Tell them what you're doing. I sell plants that are um, like decorated with recycled objects. Watering gardens. Okay. Mom wants pictures. Oh. oh, don't give me this. <laughs> Michelle Solmer and Taylor Solomon. You're Michelle. A marketing company. It's been for your dad. Photography. Jolene Sonneveld and Jeremy or Jamie Sonneveld. Designing horseshoes. She does really neat work on designing horseshoes and coloring them and painting on them. Thanks. Um, car washing. Cages Sonovel and Avra Soa. Or Avery, sorry. Ah. Somebody's marketing really hard. Check this out. We'll put this on. Woodworking. Here, Avery. Up here. I make pictures out of stones and driftwood from the beach. Samuel Sachin and Latessa Thiessen. What you're doing? Window washing. Window washing. Latessa, is she here? No, you don't look the same. 
You want to take it on her behalf? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, now's your chance to do something really funky. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And she's going to be doing what? Selling buttons. There you go. Isaac Thiessen? Exactly. <laughs> I was wondering, dude. Yeah. And what are you going to do? Popsicle stand. Popsicle stand. There we go. As you can tell, there, there's a couple of siblings, so there's rivalry. And uh, last year, on a side note, it was kind of fun to review the final reports because there's nothing like friendly competition between siblings. I may know. Um, Elitha Thiessen and Luke Thomas. Sorry. It's okay. Oh, gotta tell them what you're doing. Decorative signs. Washing cars. Maya Thompson and Anna de Van de Kirk Cook. I think I got it close this time. Maya, I'm sorry. Crafting classes. I teach swim lessons to kids. Okay, Lily Vanderkirk, Cook, and Connor Vanderbeel. I do craft clubs and sell homemade gifts. Hey, Connor. Oh. Ashley Vercon and Ali Verhonvi. I know I'm making a mess of the names. I'm trying though, really I am. Are you Ashley? I'm going to sell art. Alley around? No? So you'll notice just another little side point is that Norfolk County believes in the arts. You've got Port Dover, you've got Simcoe, and we also fund them through the students. So just something to keep in mind that uh, we don't have tunnel vision here. Kyle Wall and Brianna Walden. Homemade chapstick. Okay, no Kyle. All right. Aslan Walker Irwin. I know I made a mistake. I can tell by the look on the face. I'm sorry. Oh, she wants a picture too. There you go. Mermaid classes. Rylan Ward and Noah Webb. Rylan? Noah. All right. Long care. Zachary Weiler. And Fred Wernerart. Which one are you? Zach. Hang on to your money, buddy. Long care service. Aiden Westland and Oliver Wilson.
She wants a picture. I know it. There you go. Woodworking gifts. No, Oliver. Austin. Witchire. I'm sorry. Dog sitting. So with that in mind, how about a round of applause for the entrepreneurs in Norfolk County? So as you can tell, there's a few that didn't make it to pick up their checks. We'll do another smaller ceremony and We'll work things out. I'm sorry? He wasn't here and he is now? Okay, hang on a second then. Otto, where are you? Come on over. You say your name because I ain't trying it. Just that one. Just read the name, yep. Paolo Diagostino. And your business is? Yard work. Alessio Diagostino. Congratulations, guys. It should be in here. It should. So last name is what? There we go. Kaylin Martin. Tell them what you're doing. Selling vegetables. Okay. Yourself? Did I miss you as well? Yeah. All right. Who are you? Last name? Come on up. We'll find it. What's the last name again? This one, and Bailey Forgate. Taylor was in it? Taylor. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay, so sing amongst yourselves or something like in an elevator. Which one is it? Last name again. Starts with a T. There we go. Okay, there we go. Anybody else in the back corner there that arrived slightly under the wire and I passed them by by accident? No? All right. Just one little piece I will tell you is when I do the presentations and I told you that there was 21 that we would have loved to fund, they met all the criteria. That is not the ones that we weeded out because they didn't complete the form correctly. Okay? So we had some really good stuff come in. To give you a couple of ideas, because some of the students in this pile, I really want to visit their business. One is grooming guinea pigs. So I don't know about you, but I want to see a guinea pig in one hand and an electric trimmer in another. All right? So we look at all kinds of things. And one of the young gentlemen that we gave money today to is welding spark plugs together to make art and all kinds of things. So when it comes to creativity with the students, we don't limit that. The only limits that we put on it is it must be legal.